So hello everyone, my name is Pedro Hernandez, and today we are here with the amazing Carrie Melissa Jones, that if you are in the community business and still don't know her, you're totally missing out. And Carrie, just introduce yourself, let us know what you're doing for the community folks and for the whole industry that you help us so, so much. <laughs> Thank you for the wonderful intro. Um, so yeah, I'm Carrie Melissa Jones. I, uh, community builder. I've been building communities online for over 15 years. Um, I'm also the co-author of the book, building brand communities with Charles Vogel. And, uh, basically what I do is help all kinds of organizations and leaders, creators, uh, entrepreneurs create online communities that are authentic, that are meaningful, not just, you know, a space for people to talk at each other. But to actually meaningfully connect and create lifelong relationships. And Carrie, today we are speaking because you are a fellow Verb user. So I'm curious, mm -hmm. what made you choose Verb in the first place? Um, I mean, yeah. honestly, it was the team and the incredible team that um, that Drew, Phil, and uh, formerly Danielle, you know, put together in the early days of the company. Just knowing how much expertise there is on the team is really reassuring because there's plenty of software tools out there for community builders that are not built by community builders and people who have really been doing this work for a long time. And so I knew that, uh, you know, with that kind of expertise, that the tool is going to not only be powerful to begin with, but just keep getting better over time. Amazing. And thanks again for being our one of our founder members and helping us so much to build Verb as well. So you've been uh, using it for a long time. Uh, what are the features that you love the most or that help you the most to do your daily work and to kind of help escalate your community? Yeah, so I use it a lot. I use it, um, there's a couple of ways I use it. Number one, probably the most straightforward thing that I do is I set up scheduled posts with Verb inside of my circle community. So those scheduled posts go out once a week and they're kind of what you would call ritual content, content that you post on a regular basis. Um, so they all have the same theme, but I'm able to customize them, change them up just a little bit and do them in a chunk of time versus, you know, every Monday going in and spending, you know, 15, 20 minutes uh, yeah. doing it, I'm able to do it. I just I scheduled six at a time the last time I did it and I haven't thought about it <laughs> in like six weeks. So. Um, that's one thing that's really amazing. Um, I also use the engaged member automation, which has been really, really, really valuable. Um, so what happens is that Verb tags members who are the most active in the community in a given week, and then we'll send out an automated DM, which you're able to customize. Um, and so I send out this very short, simple message that's just, you know, thank you for, you know, participating in the community this week. It really makes a difference for other people. And what I found is that I almost always get a reply from people being shocked that they that I noticed <laughs> that they participated, which I do, even though it's automated, I still notice them. Uh, and then it kicks off other conversations, deeper conversations um, with those people. And so that's just been so very, very valuable for relationship building. Um, and then I use the uh, CRM tool in there with the profile fields and tagging. So I'm able to segment out specific numbers, just send specific numbers who have opted in, let's say, to like an accountability or buddy program, just message them. Um, so it's just made communication with members a lot easier, more streamlined. Yeah, thanks for that. Actually, you did, they did a great video about Burb and how you're using it for the whole community. If you're watching this, I will leave here the link below. You can watch it and also meet Carrie's work that she's doing with her own community. But Carrie, this is just a quick chat for people to get to know you better and what you're doing. So lastly, what is some tips that you can give for people that either want to start using Burb or are already using and want to take the most out of it? Mm. Yeah, so if you're just getting started, I would highly recommend looking at the automations that have already kind of been recommended within Verb. So there's a couple of recipes that have already been put together. And just start with those and see how much time you can save by you just doing those simple things like sending out the automated um, engaged member messages 
or um, sending out a welcome DM to your new members and just see how those initial automations improve your community. Then once you see the power of that, you're going to be able to build out all kinds of other recipes, custom things that you want to, to automate in your community. But what I find is that people hold off on automating because they're worried how it's going to be perceived or they hold off on automating because they think that that takes away the humanity of the community. And as soon as you start to see that it actually instills more humanity to put these automations in place and helps you actually focus on things that are not just, you know, machine tasks that could be done. Uh, it's really energizing. So I would just say, just start with one, two, maybe three automations and see how that goes. And then just sky's the limit from there. Yeah, that's great that you mentioned this because losing that personal touch is something that people are most afraid when using this kind of automation. But mm -hmm. when you actually learn and see how it works, you see that, as you said, you can improve personalization because it also saves you time to personalize other stuff that no automation yeah. can do. Like, like maybe some more personal follow-ups, and other things that you have more time to dedicate and actually connect, engage with your members. So yeah, thanks again for being with us today, Carrie. We look forward to hearing more from you and about everything that you're doing. And do let us know for everyone that's watching this, how they can connect with you, how can they follow all your work that you're doing. Yeah, so I love to talk to people on Instagram. I'm at Carrie Melissa Jones on Instagram. Um, you can also find me on LinkedIn, same uh, username, or on Twitter at CareMJO. Thanks again, Carrie, and see you in the next one. Thank you.